This is me on the right side. This is my friend Alan on the left side. We go to a party together. We see people dancing, talking and even singing. I sit on a chair and look at others. But my friend, he joins others. He starts to dance and sing, not even spending a single second without laughing. He enjoys the party, but not me. Why? This is called introvert personality and extrovert personality. If we took this simple situation, I'm an introvert who don't like to talk to new people or dance with others. But my friend is an extrovert who likes to engage with people and enjoy every single situation. In this personality, introvert and extrovert is a certain trait. So what type of person are you? Introvert or extrovert? Drop down below in the comment section and let me know. So in this video, I'm going to show you the differences between being an extrovert and introvert. What happens in the brains of each person? Let's find out. But before we start, I want you to press on that subscribe button and hit on the bell icon because we teach you science for the betterment of your own future. So let's start. So the first difference we can explain is the dopamine difference. One major difference between the brains of introverts and extroverts is the way we respond to a neurotransmitter dopamine. I have been preaching you about this dopamine in many of my videos. Dopamine is a chemical release in the brain that provides the motivation to seek external rewards like earning money, climbing the social ladder, attracting a mate or even getting selected to high profile project at work. When dopamine floods the brain, both introverts and extroverts become more talkative, alert to their surroundings and motivated to take risks and explore the environment. Now, don't think that introverts have less dopamine in their brain. In fact, both introverts and extroverts have the same amount of dopamine available. The difference is in the activity of dopamine reward network. It is more active in the brains of extroverts than in the brains of introverts. It's like you have a running machine at home, introverts don't use it, but extroverts do. It's just an example. The second difference we can see is that introverts use acetylcholine. Now introverts prefer to use a different neurotransmitter called acetylcholine instead of dopamine. Just like dopamine, acetylcholine is also linked to pleasure. The difference is acetylcholine makes us feel good when we turn inward. If I say it in other words, introverts love to stay silent. It powers the abilities to think deeply, reflect and focus intensely on just one thing for a long period of time. Normally many introverts are very smart because of this. The third difference which scientists notice is the nervous system differences. You might know that our nervous system is divided into two parts, a sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Now sympathetic nervous system makes us do something, it gives us adrenaline. It makes our body do a certain work. But parasympathetic nervous system makes us not to do something. It stops the action. It tells us to stay calm. You might have already guessed what I'm going to tell you now. Yes, introverts use parasympathetic system more than anyone. It makes them save energy, stay in one place, focus and stay calm without panicking. But on the other hand, extroverts use the sympathetic nervous system, which makes them fill with adrenaline, makes them run, jump, shout, hop and skip and do everything they can. The disadvantage of being an extrovert is that they think less before taking a decision. So finally what I have to say is that you are neither an introvert nor extrovert. Scientists suggest that there is something middle called ambivert. Ambivert is a person who stays as an introvert as well as extrovert in different situations. So which one do you like to be, introvert or an extrovert? Tell us below in the comment section. So if you want to watch more videos, head out to our channel page because we have uploaded more than 70 videos up to now. We will bring more and more videos weekly. So press on that subscribe button and hit on the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload. So thank you for watching, see you guys soon in another interesting video. Until then, bye bye.